started on here. Oh my gosh, everybody like it feels like everybody's dropping off all of a sudden there. I hit record and people just disappear. <laughs> okay, well hopefully yeah. Sam's coming back. Okay. Um so yeah, all right. Um we're gonna talk today about am I on the right plan? So um <laughs> we're gonna start, we're gonna start on like a big level talk about it, right? Like between gut protocol, uh, portion fix and to be mindset, because maybe I sometimes feel like people are like, okay, well, I've done portion fix and I just need to do portion fix. And maybe are a little bit like, I don't know if I should try another plan. So I guess I've always felt like, um, when you're trying something new, it can benefit you all the ways, right? Hey, Sandra. Hi. <laughs> we lost you for a second. My, ever since we supposedly got the um, fiber optic uh, lines finally put in and we got new phones, <laughs> but my computer is giving me hell. It's oh, like it no. kept saying low, low uh, bandwidth and uh, unstable connection. It's like, seriously, I've never had this problem before. Right. Now that, now that fiber optics are supposed to be better. <laughs> All right. So we're talking about, um, you know, am I in the right plan? So what I was saying is basically like, sometimes we feel like if we started down a path, like you've started down to be mindset or you've started down portion fix, you feel like you have to stay there or you feel like, am I going to lose out if I switch to another plan right now? And I think I mean, the, the way I see it is you're going to learn no matter what plan you're using in our three plans, because they're all exceptional. And I've done every one of them and learned something about myself along the way that I could either then carry into a different plan, or I figured out maybe a plan I liked better. Right. Okay. So, I mean, I've done to be mindset. And I learned to really like, how can I fill my plate with vegetables? That was an interesting thing because vegetables weren't necessarily the focus of my meals. And then on portion fix, I learned how to can, you know, combine containers and have macros and make sure that I'm, you know, in a eating enough in a sense, right? Because you're gearing it toward whatever goal you have. Right. And then uh, gut protocol. You know, I was thinking, gosh, this is going to be complicated or is this going to feel weird or am I going to feel restricted? And it turned out to be my favorite plan of all of them. And the one I like, I just whipped, like when I came home, I'm like, I'm starving. And I literally just took the time to chop everything up because my favorite salad is the salad I ate all through um, gut protocol, which is like cucumbers, tomatoes, chicken, uh, artichoke hearts, some olives, a little lemon juice and olive oil and some herbs. And it's like, it may take me, you know, an extra five minutes or something than grabbing something else. But it was like, that's the food that sounds good now after having gut protocol, doing gut protocol. So the, the high level piece of this is that you guys need to think about, and we all, you, me, everybody, yeah. <laughs> not just you, need to think about what what's going to serve us right now? And what if we try this other plan, go all in on it? And that's the key to, of any plan, right? Doing the plan right. um, and see how it, see how you feel on it. See how it works for you. See if it, it's not like you lose time or you lose this chance to get to your goal. In my mind, it helps you learn more about your relationship with food and, and helps you to get to the goal. So I'm not, you know, it's not one of those things where I'd say like, you know, change every two weeks. I'm just saying, if you've been doing something for a long time and you're kind of like, eh, I think I'm ready to start. So, so at the top level of all this, think about, am I on the right plan? Like, am I, is the one I'm on, am I actually doing it? Or am I kind of half-assing through it? Is it, you know what I mean? Am I actually tracking? Because I know we all get there too, right? Where we've been doing something for so long and then we're like, well, I'm, you know, I, yeah, I, that's probably a yellow or this is, you know, a blue or I'm going to have a teaspoon here. And maybe you're not actually keeping track of it, but you're also probably not getting to where your goal is, right? Mm -hmm. The tracking right. is critical. So, um, 
So think about those things in terms. So what's, what plan is everybody on like right now? I'm not really on a plan, unfortunately. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And that's so like, that's, that's totally cool too. You know, I mean, I think there's a lot of people. <laughs> is that you too, Kim? Yeah. She's not on a plan. So yeah. I started gut protocol Monday. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm tracking all my, you probably can't see it. Tracking, I'm tracking yeah, all my stuff. Yes. Yes. So mm -hmm. the tracking matters. It's, it's, yeah. and I am, I am probably the worst offender at not tracking, but um, I really try to make an effort. Like, I, let's see if I have yet today. This will be a good, good little exercise because I hopefully have been in here today. I think I logged my Shakeology. Oh, I have been in here. I got two meals in here already today. <laughs> <laughs> <Yay>. Yeah. <laughs> By the end of the day, it will be filled out. <clears throat> but you know, it's one of those things you want to keep going. And Lily, what about you? Are you in, in between? Or are you following portion fix? I'm, uh, I'm in portion fix, but I finished lift more and I'm in plan C, mm -hmm. but I lift more on Saturday and I'm going to switch to gut protocol, but I'm going to do workouts. So I'm not sure that I should be pl in plan B for that if I'm doing a workout because yeah that doesn't take into effect or doesn't take into account doing a strenuous workout when figuring out the, the brackets right yeah let's so let's talk about that that's, and, yeah in the, doing, mm -hmm. doing 30 minutes of cycling and probably 20 15 to 20 minutes ish of um of a core or cardio or weights or something like that so I'm not gonna just be doing the four weeks for everybody, which is what the program's written for. Right. Yeah. So I feel like I need to, to not, um, not be in, well, it, so it puts me in B for maintenance. Yeah. If, if I, um, just go if by the couch. you're doing that protocol hmm? numbers. Yeah. Yeah. Which is still a lot of food. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a still, lot of volume. It's the same amount of calories, but it's a lot of volume because you have more veggies. And so your volume changes quite a bit. Yeah. Yes. And then Carrie, I don't know if you, um, I don't know if you're able to talk or if you're just listening. I, I am good. I just have my internet suck. So um, either get a picture or I can hear you. <laughs> right? uh, I try to be mindset. Uh -huh. But I'm just sorry. Um, I'm not regimented enough. So I've started when school started in August, and I started um, fire and flow. Yeah. I started the containers, and I'm seeing a difference. Like it's still hard getting all the containers in, and I know they've said that. But um, with feeding a family too, it's harder. Like, I just don't want to make separate meals. So I try to like portion mine out and so. yeah. Yeah. And that it's, can be like, I do feel like to be can be a little more family friendly. Um, just because, you know, you have a little more allowances with some, um, accessories and you know what I mean? So if you're making like a one pot meal, it's just a little bit it's, it's just a little bit different where you can kind of fudge a little bit, bit more yeah. than you can with portion fix, but there's also so many now fixate recipes with portion fix that you, you know, like it's just figuring out what the family will eat or how you can containerize from that. And they can also customize to make it the way they want it. Yeah, that's where I am because both of my kids are trying to put on weight. And oh yeah. Yeah. I've got one that's bulking too. Yeah. And they just, they, you know, like they want all the protein. And so they definitely want to eat healthy, which is good. We're eating the healthy, but it's just trying to find that balance for my husband and I, cause I'm trying to get him into the containers without him realizing he's eating out the containers. Yes. yes. <laughs> I love and it. And then, um, get myself in the containers and then also bulk my, my boys up. So yeah. I'll tell you what, we make a lot of grilled chicken thighs around here. Um, cause you can just easily throw that in a bowl with anything or what my son will do is he'll have white rice and some, he'll make up some kind of teriyaki sauce and have it with the chicken. And then my other child loves grilled chicken for his lunches. 
So it's like, if you can find some meats like that, that you can just have around um, that are accessible, then that definitely helps. So you use chicken thighs as opposed to chicken breasts? I do both chicken thighs and chicken breasts. So um, it's funny now, Jack's actually converted to chicken breasts when he meal preps. So, um, so we kind of share that now. And I usually, I'll grill a bunch of chicken breasts. And so I'll usually have probably four or five servings of chicken breasts in the refrigerator that I can pull from too. And then the other child, my other child, Luke, he likes to have chicken thighs. I will eat either if I need to. The fat content is not such that if I have one meal, you know what I mean? It's not really right. going to be detrimental. <clears throat> and most of the time, our thighs are pretty lean anyway, the ones we've been getting and throwing on the grill. So it, you know what I mean? If you can make compromises there, you're more likely to stay on track versus whatever you'd have to be doing otherwise, right? So there there can be a trade-off there. Like I'll, I'll also have pork shoulder, you know, some, sometimes, right? So that, or um, you know, isn't necessarily top of the list, but one meal having some pork shoulder in a red container isn't going to ruin the world. <laughs> but it allowed me to make one meal and yeah. uh, there's a lot of times uh, there's a, um, there's a really, really good chicken Euro burger on there too. Like, so you make, um, ground chicken patties and you put all these Euro spices in it. And I like, when I make that, I double the batch because Jack goes crazy for him too. So he and I then eat off that for a few days. Yeah. Thank you. So, is that the bowl? Yes. Yeah, so it's That's called the recipe that makes bowl. the bowl. And it's yeah, basically I just, just chicken that. burger. Um, mm -hmm. and that one is great. I did it on gut protocol too, because if you just leave out the tzatziki, yep. then you're good to go. And I would just, I just square a little lemon in there and put some herbs in and you're set. Um, yeah. but you know, there's recipes like that, right. Where every, if you're kind of doubling and it still fits for you, uh, oh, the, the fixate macaroni beef macaroni is also a great one. Like the whole family would eat that one pot meal. You just put out your, whatever it is, like a cup or a cup and a half or something like that's a serving. Um, and then the kids can have two cups, right. Or three, they're bulking, <laughs> whatever needs to happen. <laughs> so I, yeah, that, lots of great things there. Um, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. You're welcome. So when, once you've decided on your plan, obviously you use the calculation that is within the plan or the program, right? Because if you're just doing a nutrition plan and you are like, it came, like gut protocol came with its own set of workouts. So that formulation is all together in there. It's assuming you're going to do a low impact workout, but now we have gut protocol say, and lift more, right? So now you're going to use the lift more calculation because that's taking into account the exercise. So you go in, you do the calculation according to lift more, you take whatever bracket it says you're in and you go over to portion fix or um, the gut protocol and see where that fits in. So once you've started, right? You've determined everything, you're getting, you're, you're going at least two weeks stay on whatever bracket you have been put in, right? Let your body have a chance to normalize things because it may feel like a lot of food. It may be more volume than you were eating before. It may be more calories than you were eating before, but give your body a chance to acclimate, right? Like, so if you, if it is feeling like way too much, try to, if you're going to miss some containers, miss different containers each day and try each day to get a little closer to where the goal is so that you can be you know, complete and feel what that's like. Now in that two week range, like, let's say you get to your two weeks and you're like, this isn't, this isn't feeling it right. Like I was there with lift more. I was in plan D for maintenance. And I was like, this is, this is still just too much food because I've done, um, a surplus diet before, but this even felt like too much. Like this was just my goal was to be in maintenance and not to be bulking, right? And I was bulking, <laughs> not in muscle. It didn't feel like it. I was bulking in size. And so that's where I, after my two weeks, I kind of took that evaluation. I'm like, I just, this doesn't feel right. I'm very sedentary. 
during the rest of my day. So if I had a job where I was constantly moving, walking around, then D would probably be just fine. But I took it back to C and that's feeling really good. That feels like maintenance to me. I'm not hungry. Uh, I'm not over full. I'm just in this nice, just right space. I have plenty of energy to do my workouts. I'm sleeping well. I don't feel like um, I was feeling like a stuffed sausage. I said <laughs> in, in the first two weeks with plan D, I don't feel like that anymore. I just feel like my body's going through the food. So those are the things you're looking for. And, and it could be that you're eating too little. So maybe you want to, you're in a weight loss bracket and it puts you in a, but maybe you're really active or maybe you're doing an extra workout or maybe, you know, your job has you on your feet all day and a is just not enough. You're hungry all the time. You don't have enough energy to get your workouts done. You're just feeling, ugh, you're not sleeping very well. Um, those are all indicators that it's just not enough. Okay. And so you can still bump up and be and lose weight because you're likely still in that calorie deficit. The calorie deficit is the important part for weight loss. And that's going to look a little different sometimes for people. And sometimes I think people get stuck on the, well, if I want to lose weight, I have to be an A or I have, you know what I mean? I have to be in this one I was assigned in, but if it's not feeling right, you're not going to stick to it, right? If you're in a weight loss bracket, you should feel a little hungry in between. You're, you're burning more calories than you're taking in. You're going to feel a little bit. You should not be ravenous. You should not be hungry an hour after a meal. It should be more like two hours, especially if you're on portion fix and you, you know, you're doing those four five, six meals a day. It, it should take you about that next meal where you're like, okay, yep, I'm ready to eat. And you shouldn't be waking up with hunger. So all of those things you want to take into consideration. Um, did I miss any of them? Is anybody, <laughs> some of you guys have, we've all been doing this a while. So, you know, you're just looking to see like, how am I feeling? You're doing like a little pulse point. Like how are things going really with me? And it, and are things, how am I feeling? And I, that to me, that's more important than what the scale's doing initially, because initially your body's adjusting to things. Now, if you've been with a program and your goal was weight loss and it's been a month and there was no weight loss, there was no changes in inches, then it's time to look at what bracket you're in, right? Is this the right bracket? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Everybody good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Super yappy today. <laughs> so, um, so let's talk about that. Like, um, is there any questions? Like, does everybody feel like they're in the right place right now? Yes, but mm. if I go to gut protocol and do um, the calculation for lift more, I should be in plan C and there's no, I can't eat that much. So you I'm, never I'm really got same. to plan C anyway. You never, no. you never ate no, that. I barely finished all the containers in plan B. So then Maybe. I wouldn't, so then I would just do B. But I'm moving forward because I'm done with lift more. So whatever, if biking isn't the same as lifting weight and the amount of weights that I will be doing is not equivalent to what I've been doing right now with lift more. So I right. don't feel like, um, I guess I should just go back to the gut protocol and see how I'm feeling on plan B and, and C, I guess, listen to my body. Yeah. I mean, you could start on B where it says you are. Um, cause if you, if you were having a hard time getting C containers in with lift more, you're going to have a really hard time getting C containers in with gut protocol. Cause it's seven vegetables. It's seven vegetables. Five. I, I ate there for the last four months. <laughs> it's fantastic. That's a yeah. lot of food. Oh, it's fantastic. And I love it. Seven, <laughs> That's <fantastic>. Three <laughs> fruits, five, five, five uh, reds. Yeah. Five reds, three yellows, one blue, one orange and five teaspoons. Like it's just, it's not, and that's not going to happen. I can guarantee. Mm -hmm. I'm going to feel like you felt where you were stuffed and not. Yeah. But here's, like, here's my question though, Lily, like, cause we've talked about this before you 
you don't necessarily track it unless you're like really in on the program, right? And so yes. then like when you're going I, into that protocol, if you're really tracking it, you could probably eat all of C. Mm, no, because I wasn't in C before when we were, when we were all in doing gut protocol. Okay. So then, so you, I was, I was in B like and I was having a hard time. You were having a hard time eating all the containers because you were full? In B, yeah. Huh. I, I don't know what's wrong with you. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I have a question. So, you know, how I told you I was flow in energy yesterday. Um, I don't know if it's the food or coming off caffeine. Oh, could be. Yeah. Oh. I mean, the caffeine. I, I, got, I was you, thinking about that totally today. Off or you're just lowering or what's your, where are you at? Um, so I was weaning last week. Yeah. I had one, one cup Monday at a half a cup Tuesday and I haven't had any yesterday or today. Okay. So you're just coming off coffee and you're not going to replace it with energize or green tea. Um, well, I had some matcha on Monday. I haven't had any energize all week. That's just a sad existence, Sue. You have to. Have it. I know it's just no, so it's sad, <laughs> but I want my Shakeology. <laughs> yeah. So I'm also looking at that added sugar, you know? So, yeah. Um, so I think that might be Let's one of the main both. reasons. So yeah. here's my, here's a qu question I'm posing in my own head too, because I'm going to, I'll be back on gut protocol when we start mm -hmm. on the third. And I, I kind of, I guess in my head thought I would go into maintenance right? because I've done it right. I know, I know soy is an issue for me. I've gone through the elimination part. I've gone through that part. So I was thinking I would go into maintenance and then, mm -hmm. but, but I'm curious, like, have you thought about that? Um, no, because my biggest thing is the sugar and I need to watch the sugar. Mm-hmm. So but I just said, you, no, I'm just, but can you keep it under 15? I mean, maintenance is 15 grams of yeah. added sugar. If you keep it under that and then you can still have your recovery. You can still have your shakeology. Shake yeah. Oh, I'm sure I could. I'm sure I could. I'm just trying to eliminate as much of it as I can, because that's my problem is sugar mm -hmm. and any, any added sugar might you know, fool me into thinking I want chocolate or candy or something. Right. So I just really like cut it out as much as I can. Yeah. Then you probably, I mean, this first week is going to be, um, mm -hmm. some slowness, right? Like, I mean, we all experience it too, with ultimate reset in that first week yeah. when you drop all that stuff and at least you did yeah. experienced it the same, um, when we started gut protocol too when we, yeah, I it, remember it's much, it's much worse in ultimate reset because you have nothing. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, yeah have you have no nothing. caffeine, you have no sugar, no, no. you have right. nothing. And, um, so it's like, it's, it's, it, it hits people sometimes even like a flu feeling like where they're just like, they're down, um, mm -hmm. depending on what they were eating before. That's what one thing that was nice about gut protocol is it, it kind of eases you into that a little bit. So, yeah. yeah. So I'm coming off the sugar. I'm coming off the caffeine. <laughs> yeah. Feeling a little low this week. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, but that's okay. It's a good place. Well, good. All right. So then, uh, and then the last piece of this is, um, you know, are, am I on the right plan? Um, when you've completed a program it's time to reevaluate at that point too right so uh either you're going to change to another one or maybe you are going to do a second round of whatever workouts you were doing or maybe you're going no workouts whatever it is you can just recalculate to see then what is going to work best and you're going through those same things again as you're a couple weeks in is this working right is that how am i really feeling um, that's one thing that's really nice about the to be mindset, um, tracker is it, there's a lot in there about how do I feel? And I know, um, transform 20 had that in the tracker too. I'm trying to think, uh, morning meltdown 100. Didn't yeah, there you go. And probably fire and flow, right? Yeah. yeah. Like they're all, 
more about thinking about how you're actually feeling versus the hard numbers or stats. And, you know, that gives you a good indication of how things are going. All right. So any well, questions on it? Yeah. What'd you say? I said, we'll see. <laughs> next week. So are you See, going to are you going to body uh, workouts next Thursday? Then I'm on the wrong plan, <laughs> right? Are you going to go to body workouts be and then and then go to the ex extend bar? Yes, yes, that's what I'm doing. So because the then, extend bar starts on the fourth, I believe, of October. So I'll have mm -hmm. three weeks basically to do my Tour de Ponts uh, rides and then add in whatever you know, strength or core or whatever I want to add in. Yeah. When I, when I, I have time. Giggle every time they say tour de ponts. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I get that vision too. So are you going to start gut protocol then right away or what are you doing? I am on Monday. Okay. I'm, I'm, but I'm going to, I'm going to do maintenance like Deanna said, cause I already know, mm -hmm. um, I just need to get, I need to put more plant, um, based, food in my body i realized right. it's my plants <laughs> during regular portion fix what I, i'm i've been missing my plants like i feel like yeah. i'm not eating enough plants i don't do it when i don't track it and i'm not on that plan so i've i yeah. need more um like i added a you know side of bean black beans to my salad last night and i just i don't i i tend not to do that unless i'm making bowls or i'm on that plan so i yeah. mm -hmm. and i felt really good when i was on gut protocol um yeah. but but I want my recover in my life and I want um you know I will probably slide a little bit on that on that number for me because I've already done the program and I'm gonna have those damn Snickers at um Deanna's <laughs> birthday meal yes prep. you are mm -hmm. you sure <laughs> are you know but I but I'm for me it's more about getting the um the plant-based um proteins and the carbs in so mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and a side note. Um, so recharge has, is back ordered and people are also coming back to gut protocol, but still doing lift more. And so autumn has come out to say that you can use recover at night, the vegan recover at night. So you're doing it twice if you're doing lift more. And the reason huh? is, is that you're still getting a decent source of protein in at night. Um, but you're also, I mean, if you're on gut protocol, you can't be doing recharge because it's way based. So, um, so I'm probably going to do that too. Cause I, like, I, I'm right on the edge of making sure I get in those five reds. It won't be a problem during gut protocol. Cause I love adding the beans in and things like that. But, mm -hmm. um, I have like, there's something about having that extra protein at night that has felt really good while I'm doing all this. So I mean, so it's not counted as a container. It's, it's just in right. place of, yeah. Gotcha. If you're doing lift, Ooh, more. that's, that's now, good to know. If I, if you're doing four weeks for everybody, I don't mm -hmm. believe she's going to feel that's enough lifting, right. To account for a recharge or a recover at night. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to just kind of manage that, but <laughs> All right. Well, good. Well, any questions about anything? We can, we can open up the discussion. What do we want to talk about tonight? Kim, what are you making? Um, I made that uh, variation of the marinated sausage and peppers and mm -hmm. zucchini. Yeah. With whatever veggies I had, and I actually didn't really marinate it. I just mixed <laughs> it together and put it on the tray. Perfect. It's like the fast version. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Semi homemade. What kind of sausage do you use? Is that like a chicken sausage or? Yeah, it was a chicken sausage. Um, okay. I think it had a garlic and red pepper in it. Too. Oh, okay. I've been getting lately um, a really good kielbasa that's grass fed beef from Costco. Um, that mm -hmm. one's really good too. It's not super fatty and tastes good. And so th that'd be good in that um, jambalaya recipe. There's a fixate instant pot jambalaya that is super delicious i make that one a lot in the winter just a big old tub of brown rice and chicken and sausage <laughs> that that would be a good one yeah, yeah that's good. Really good. I'm, I'm hoping i can make sunday but we're having company this weekend um it's my it's also my husband's birthday on saturday 
Nice. Oh, Virgo nice. Virgos unite. <laughs> I won't be cooking, but I'll pop on <laughs> for a few <laughs> from the pool. I would nice. like to because my oh, sister-in-law will be here, so I'm hoping I can uh, convince her to uh, to cook with us. She would have fun, yeah, to cook with us. Yeah. We'll just, oh, we'll, that would be fun. Whatever we make for dinner, yeah. we'll just eat everything. <laughs> right. Yeah. Hoping awesome. to at least. Stop. So Deanna, tell us about the gut protocol group. So it, the prep week is the 29th? The 26th. 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 Yep. Okay. Yes. I haven't responded to you, have I? <laughs> no, that's okay. But what calendar was I looking at? I must have um, been looking at something yeah, different. The 26th should be a Monday. A Monday. It is. And then, then uh, so that'll be the prep week everybody will be learning the program if they're new to it. I think we'll have some repeat people come in from spring. Um, and then we'll get the chats going about different fermented foods and different things to bring in and maybe some tips, tips and tricks we learned, you know, along the first few rounds. Uh, and then the third will be day one. And that's also when we'll start the workout. So if people wanted to not do the gut protocol nutrition plan, but they want to do the four weeks for everybody, because it's now available for everybody, um, in, you can start that with us in the group and uh, follow along with the posts. Okay, perfect. And then are we going to do a, um, a thread, like a message thread, like we did last time? Yeah, we'll have, we'll have like a chat line going for sure. And I okay. think maybe what we'll do is because we had our coach chat line and then I had a separate customer chat line, but I kind of wonder if we just combine for this, depending on how group the big, the group is. So if you're doing okay. the nutrition plan that way, it's easy to shoot pictures. Like if you're in the grocery store and be like, Hey, is this going to be okay? Or is this on the plan? Or how does this work? Or I really love this. Get this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because that'll be a lot of fun. I know a lot of us tried a lot of new foods on that plan, which was really fun. <laughs> Bobby announced um, today, he was in a live in the um, Portion Fix group. Um, he announced that they are working on a whole bunch of gut protocol recipes. Oh, good. Oh, yay. That are, that are supposed to be launching in the next quarter. So. I've been saving awesome. some stuff that Autumn has put out lately. Um, I don't know that those ma those matcha bars aren't going to work for gut protocol. I don't think. I think you have to be portion fix that she just did, but there was a pasta salad that is gut protocol that she posted. It's basically some roasted veggies, some um, like a chickpea pasta, and then mm. stuff like that. So, oh yeah, I that one. <laughs> did you see that one? Yeah, and I yeah, think I, I, some I, the dressing. I, yeah. I took I took pictures of it on my phone. <laughs> yeah, it looked really good. And then the other day, or, um, maybe it was yesterday, she made a bowl too that had the tahini dressing. And to me, that looked this, like the same dressing we made for the vegan Buddha bowls. Hmm. Um, it's hmm. like a tahini and turmeric dressing. It's a gorgeous yellow. It was yummy with a little lemon. And yeah, so, I saw that. Yeah. It yeah. So good. We can, that'll be great too. Cause then hopefully those start coming out. Did he say when they'd start releasing them, Lily? He, he didn't say, he said they're come, they're, they're coming out with a couple holiday recipes, but not, um, they've made pretty much every recipe that you can make for the holidays. So they're going to focus more on the gut protocol recipes. Nice. So, um, I'm not sure. We'll, yeah. We'll, we'll see. Well, and we all have access to the ultimate reset recipes. And a lot of those are going to be mm -hmm. great on the gut protocol too, with the international stuff that they just put in there. So we can share those recipes too, um, to kind of get some new flavors in there. And is that, you guys know how to carry and Sandra, do you know how to find those? Um, there, if you go into the nutrition center, there's an ultimate reset like uh, program square. I don't think I've ever actually looked for that one, but. Okay, yeah. So if you look for ultimate reset and then in the program materials, there's going to be a, uh, it's called a taste of the world, I think, recipe okay. book and it's a PDF. So it's all these brand new vegetable based um, recipes. They're um, vegan. I think they're primarily vegan. I don't think any of them are vegetarian, right? I think they're all vegan. <laughs> 
Yeah. And so uh, Indian, Mediterranean and um, Latin. So okay. yeah, it'll be really be a nice little addition. Yeah. And, to check it out. Yeah. And everybody has access, which is kind of nice. Okay. I'm finally getting around to um, trying some of those. I hope next week. So nice. I've, yeah. I've got I picked some and I've got some ingredients on the shopping list and uh, they look good. <laughs> they do. I know. I, I need to get, I bought the book at Summit and I need to go through it and make some of those too. The uh, avocado egg ranchero looks yummy. <laughs> You're looking through it now nice yeah <laughs> <laughs> i just have to pull it up i was like oh yeah it's at the end of um it's at if you're looking under in, the, in that app under the nutrition center it's all the way at the end so oh. here yeah oh so, um yeah <laughs> No shortage yeah. of food ideas. So no, me... no. And the blog also has a lot of recipes. I mean, Autumn said you can change any recipe to yeah. fit gut protocol just because it has something in it that is, you know, not for but gut protocol. You can change that to make it gut protocol friendly a lot of times. Exactly. Um, like, yeah, that jambalaya, that you could use a chicken sausage. And then yeah. you're set. like, it's, it's all, everything else in it is totally fine. So somebody did ask for a gut protocol fudge recipe and Bobby's like, I can't do that. Come on, just sugar. No. <laughs> we want to enjoy the fudge, not like right. torture ourselves with some weird. He's, he's like, I don't know what you can boil down. <laughs> it's sugar. There's nothing yeah. else. Yeah. That's funny. Kim, do you want to grab your label? Uh, sure. What do you, I want to hear more about these junkless. Yeah. What is in here? Canola bars. Well, yeah. And how junkless is it? Cause you never, that's a pretty big word on the front there. <laughs> okay. It says no hydrogenated oils, no high fructose corn syrup, no artificial flavors, no fake stuff. Uh, whole wheat, the ingredients, whole wheat or whole grain rolled oats blend brown rice syrup, rice crisp, non-GMO canola oil, molasses, cinnamon, vanilla extract, non-GMO soy, something. Less it, like, oh, less lecithin. It. Yeah, it's an emulsifier to keep it all together. <clears throat> it's got um, three and a half grams of fat, 21 carbs, only one fiber, and six sugars, and two protein. So the ingredients six are there. Added sugar or six regular sugar? Five added sugars. Mm. No, uh, does it say? Yeah, five added sugars, and which must be cane sugar. I see here. Brown rice syrup. Brown rice syrup. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it sounds fine. I mean, I just, I just, <laughs> laughed. I, I thought it. I, I wish it had a little more protein. It could use some more fiber because it's definitely okay. not fiber. How can it not filled. have any fiber? That's so weird. Well, brown I mean, rice actually doesn't have a lot of fiber. It has a lot compared to white, but not a lot compared to like a chickpea pasta or, a, you know what I mean? Or like things that are, but the. Why do the oats not have enough fiber though? Well, that's it says good. it's an oat blend and that makes oh, me wonder fine. what's there. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. the blend says rolled oats, cane sugar and canola oil though. That's, that's. Yeah. Oh, well, that's what the blend is. Mm -hmm. yeah so I don't know maybe there's just not enough rolled out volume to make up for the crisps that are in there because maybe the crisps don't have that's hard to say like fast crisps <laughs> <laughs> maybe you know what so I mean they're, maybe also, those don't they're also soft and I never trust soft cookies or soft granola bar like to me it just feels like yeah you've got something in there keeping it soft but um it, it says they don't but well, the soy lecithin might, might, that might keep it soft. I don't know. It says so, but that wouldn't be that because you're taking soy out for gut protocol. You wouldn't be able to eat. Yeah, that you then. couldn't, well, you couldn't have that anyway. Cause I mean, you're, you're encroaching on half your day of sugar. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah. Well, it, 
said, well, listen, it's, listen to this. It says uh, most snack bars have too much sugar or worse, they contain sugar alcohols. Not so a junk list. Each junk list chewy granola bar contains less sugar than half a medium sized banana. So I didn't know half a medium sized banana has six grams of sugar. But it's a naturally occurring sugar, which mm -hmm. is different than an added sugar. Uh, so that's oh. why people are all bad. That's on why it. marketing is amazing. Market <laughs> It's crazy marketers why, and, and the bar's not bad the bar's not bad it's just yeah you know, it's, it's probably fun. better oh wait a minute Do where'd I... they all go is the box empty yeah. <laughs> we had them on our camping trip no. oh okay <laughs> that's the fun with marketing right you read I, had from... a, I had another one i can't i don't know where the oh box yeah it was for it was the Kodiak. It was granola oh. bars by Kodiak. I think they had. Oh, I've had those before. You know, it's yeah. funny. Some of their stuff has example. a lot of stuff added into it, and then some of it doesn't. Like I would get the pancake mix mix at Costco, and it didn't have eggs, so I could mm -hmm. do that, and it was pretty just pretty basic, right? There wasn't a lot to it, but then like they have graham crackers and these little snack things, and all those things have more stuff added into it. Even the muffin mix, the muffin mix yeah. has sugar added into it and so and eggs, I guess, too. So, yeah, that was weird. Hmm. Yep, I always just need to turn around. Too. I love their pancakes. Yeah, they are good. They are good. The, it makes uh, me want pancakes. Say, though, whole, the whole wheat ones we made in our first year of doing the meal prep class, that those were amazing. Wow. Oh, those are good. Those my kid we were in the rv when we made those and uh the kids wow. ate them in one is that the days. recipe that you can do pancakes or waffles with yeah i think we okay. did both with them. i think yeah. i did waffles with both yeah. with that recipe it was so good i wonder it, if is that that protocol it. no it's flour <laughs> well, well if I we could have, lily I'll... can we do coconut flour with them <laughs> you could you'd have you to could. rearrange your liquids you'd, yeah you have to adjust your liquids or you could do the uh cauliflower flour oh i wanted to say that i have been putting in like a cup a uh, half a well half a cup probably of cauliflower in my shake and can't tell at all and i'm shocked nice shocked. way to go do a, do a whole cup Easy it only took a long many, many years but i finally tried it <laughs> it was like it. Yeah. It was like, damn, I don't have a banana. What could make this shake thicker? Oh, you know. I have to oh, say, flour. I really like butternut squash too. It works really well. Oh, I would like Ooh, that. I, do you do it? You, you get, cook it first. You do it frozen. I just take it. I buy a frozen bag. It's funny, Walmart and then our, like Walmart has it and our expensive grocery store has it, but like nothing in between carries frozen butternut squash. Wow. Um, and, so, I, yeah, and then I just throw it in frozen and whip it up sneaky sneaky i like it and it gives us a little bit of sweetness to it i don't know there's like this little bit of extra something there that's really good oh I'm right. a, i don't know it up between the cauliflower and the butternut yeah i don't know if you guys talked about vanilla chai but i so like it i i, I did not it. expect to and i we ordered like i ordered one box and then we quickly ordered like two more and uh, I would switch. I loved it. I just, yeah, that would be one I could do all the time if they brought it out. Yeah, I, 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 I was thinking I need another box. So, so I saw a recipe today with pumpkin puree, and I was like, "Oh my god, I need to try that!" <laughs> like, I'm, I'm that would not be amazing with the vanilla. I'm not ready for yeah. fall yet. I'm still enjoying some <laughs> <laughs> but, but I was like, I was, I was debating it this morning. I was like, "Wait a minute, nope, nope." not ready for fall but yeah i was like that sounds delicious i know kim i was thinking i might use the vanilla chai in the snickers bars too i'm still trying to decide because i don't have regular vanilla oh so yeah i don't know hmm. i yeah i wish that would be an option i would definitely uh get that at least every other month or something It'll be interesting to see too. The next flavor coming out is chocolate. Was it just caramel brownie? Salted caramel yeah. brownie? What is it called? Mm -hmm. Caramel brownie, I think. Caramel brownie. Yeah. And so that's in November. Um, so it'll be interesting to see, yeah, how that one goes. 
Well, it's so funny because I was like, I don't know, I'll just get chai because I have to because I'm a coach and because you got to try it, you know, like you're like, oh, this is very good, <laughs> you know, oh my god. Well, and it's it, it, one that you can just shake and have. That's yeah. what yeah. I thought. Too. I don't like that with everything. Yeah, yeah, I can do this one at, at work for lunch. You know, I don't have to. I should start hoarding it now. Or is it still available? It is. I bet. Yeah. I bet it's got to be low. It says chocolate caramel brownie. Chocolate November caramel 10th. Brownie. November 10th is when it's coming. Okay. Mm. And I wasn't then a fan of the salted caramel very much, though. That uh, one was a little bit tough. Oh, okay. <laughs> the yeah, first some... version had a weird aftertaste. The second version was better. Uh, yeah. I don't think I tried the second one. I remember the aftertaste from the yeah, first. Yeah, the second I one think was much better. Chocolate with caramel wouldn't, I think you could drink that with water, like just, just like you do with chocolate. Um, I think you could put banana in it or yeah. butternut. I bet that would make one of those great mug cakes. Yes. Oh, be good. yes. Mm. oh yeah, yes. that was that Bobby was gonna come out with was um some some more mug cakes recipes. Yeah, you know what I keep wanting to try and I haven't done it yet is there's the baked uh chocolate chip oats. Uh, oh. So it's like it's, I haven't tried. I haven't tried it either. Blend it, yeah. You blend it, and then it's like it's like a little cake with chocolate chips in it, but it looks really yummy, and everybody raves about it. I like the recover with chocolate chips on it. That's pretty good too. <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody seen? Because somebody talked about a recharge cookie dough. Has anybody seen that? Like how you do mm. it? That is, is that the Jennifer Jacobs one. Oh my God, I'd have to get chocolate recover for that. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if it, I don't Looking know if it's hers or not. I did anybody I try she, the, Yeah, I thought she used recover. Cause she did it, a, I, she did a recharge like nut butter. Oh yeah. Okay. So maybe we're talking about a recharge cookie dough. Yeah. And, I don't know. Uh, Bobby did like a recover in one of the, four weeks for everybody he did a re blueberry recover kind of shake thing oh okay because i didn't catch it. i thought it was chocolate shakeology but uh, my friend amy was like no 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 he said recover and re we rewound and that's what it was recover oh, nice yeah well and the mint chocolate chip bar beach bar oh, is coming yeah. out third so you say october that's gonna november be good 3rd. october 3rd okay yeah i'm looking forward to that you think that'll taste like the Girl Scout cookies in mints? I hope so. And only hope. I sure hope so. <laughs> sure so. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm oh, definitely okay. like that one. Okay. I feel like we're just chatting through here. So is there any I'm other questions kidding. before we take too long <laughs> chatting about Shakeology? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's my oven going off. Could you hear that? Going? I'm like, who's, no. who's beeper's going off? Who's beeper? You know, I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> well, when smoke you know. starts coming out, you're going to be. In yeah. Oops. Oops. <laughs> that's funny. Any other, any labels? Any? Okay. Well, good. Yeah. So uh, we're, uh, I don't, what's tomorrow for Funky Friday? 80s. Bring oh, oh, really? <laughs> Bring your leg warmers. Oh, I hope your, my uh, shiny pants are clean. I need to go look. I need some <laughs> some shine. Oh, and then I can yeah, I can get some eighties hair going. <laughs> there you go. Big hair. Oh boy. Get some mall bangs. Um. So then, uh, Sunday is meal prep: Snickers protein bars, the uh, crispy chicken tenders with lemon and broccolini, and a watermelon and heirloom tomato salad. That just seemed oh the appropriate way to end end summer. Yeah, you know what? I'm definitely going to be there. That's what my husband replaced uh, his ice cream with watermelon. He just eats the whole family size thing. Sometimes he just cuts a watermelon in half and just uses a spoon. <laughs> like a possum. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> oh, that's, awesome. awesome. that's funny. Right, I'll go to the I'll go to the farmers market. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. that'd be good. Yeah, I know. I was thinking about I need to find a place to get some good heirloom tomatoes cuz I mean, if you have a good tomato, that's just magical. It is. I agree. Yeah, changes everything. Hmm. We'll, we'll be traveling, travel. so I won't be doing any of it. 
We'll tell okay. you how good it tastes. We'll say, oh, I'm yeah. sure. Oh, I'll say, it. <laughs> dude, you got to do this when you get home. Yeah, exactly. I know. But I've, already made, the I've already made the Snickers, so I already know that that's to die for, and I won't be making those for a while. <laughs> so, yeah. Because mm -hmm. then I eat like eight servings, and then I'm like, oh. Well, why do you think I'm doing gut protocol this week? <laughs> 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, and then I think that's Excited. about it for things coming up. Yeah, for right now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Take a picture. Yeah. Here. <laughs> I hear it. Oh, no, it's so Are dark you taking in it, here. Lily, or am I taking it? Oh, uh, I can take it if you want. Yeah, you're always so good at it. I got my iPad, but we can do this. All right. One, two, three. Okay, got it. Okay. Perfect. Okay. All right. Well, I'll put the recording up. And if anybody has any questions, um, I did um, pass around a, an interesting uh, podcast about alcohol. And so if we feel like talking about alcohol next week, um, this podcast is kind of going to make you not want to drink ever. Oh, but, I was going to um, say, is it pro no. or <laughs> it's not pro when he refers to it as poison? So, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, well drinking alcohol when you're listening to it is <laughs> but it's pretty fascinating I'm I'm like probably 40 minutes in at this point and it's just it's really fascinating it's things that um you don't re nobody really talks about or think about but even just a little bit of alcohol it has an effect on your on your microbiome and especially since we're going into gut protocol that's exactly the reason why it's taken out so that your gut has a chance to heal and uh, some people who drink, I thought this was really interesting really quick. He just uh, talked about chronic drinkers and that doesn't necessarily mean you drink a lot. It just means you are regular in your drinking. So if you're a chronic drinker, so even if you just have you know two drinks a week, but every week you have those two drinks, um, he just talks about how it can develop into leaky gut. And so that's one of those things that we've definitely dealt with in gut protocol. And it's just pretty fascinating to hear someone else talking about, you know, the effects of it. And it's, and he, he's very good at the whole thing of like, he's like, I'm not saying don't, I'm just saying, this is what happens. Right. It's mm -hmm. kind of a, or, you know, it's not like a, you know, a shameful. And I think that's just how you have to go into all nutrition things. Right. Is it's about learning a little more and you still get to make your adult grown up decisions, right? I mean, we're grown up adults. We get to make our decisions on how we want to be, but you know more now. And so you uh, can make those decisions with better information. I, I'd be interested in hearing that. Well, I, what yeah, I can a, do is post it at, um, like maybe on Monday or Tuesday next week. So everybody has a chance to listen to the podcast and then we can talk about it. Okay. Yeah. Cause okay. Be, that sounds good. Be pretty fun. All right, Carrie, we'll see you later. <laughs> All right, nice. well, I'll end the call and uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys next week. We'll see All you right. on Zoom. Sounds good. All right, have a good. great weekend. See you guys in the morning. Bye, guys. Nice to see you. See you tomorrow. See you, see you.